Masters, six games in nine days. A tour through the Eastern Conference beginning after beating Boston at home, the matchup nightmare to try to slow down. How do you guard that man? It'll be Draymond Green, it'll be a whole team effort. Loves going to the basket. You probably still want to sag off him just a little bit. And then you get an angry fear of the deer night to begin the road trip for the Warriors. And usually you want to make sure you play Warrior basketball the first game of the road trip. It can really set the tone for the rest of the trip. Bob and Kalena with you from Milwaukee with Giannis and Middleton, Javon Carter, Grayson Allen, and Brooke Lopez for Mo Milwaukee. Looney opens on Giannis. Shot clock down to five. Shot clock at two. Raymond had him on the switch, and then Tenacupo lost it out of bounds. See, they're gapping an easy job there. So no Andrew Wiggins for the Warriors. So Steph and the Milwaukee product, Jordan Poole, with Clay, Kevon Looney, and Draymond Green. A lot of Milwaukee flavor for the Warriors with Looney, Poole, and Dante DiVincenzo, and Jordan Poole opens with a three. That's the start you're looking for. Go back to your bread and butter. Split action, Draymond's a decision maker. Middleton, a little flat on that three. Looney with the rebound. Middleton missed the first 20 games of the year with that wrist injury. He's so important for them. Clay Thompson, nice beginning. A little foul line jumper, and the Warriors. They, I, I think that the Boston game may end up being a turning point in the season that we'll talk about into the next couple of months because after the losses to Indiana and Utah, the Warriors were in a bad way. Middleton had it knocked away. Poole on Javon Carter, couldn't finish the layup. Well, Boston really was a field good win that they needed. Best team in the league, the way they played from beginning to end. Giannis wing jumper, and you, you want to lure him into taking those shots. Where you want him living, the percentage isn't great from out there. Leg came off that screen, Middleton was right with him. Clay Thompson hit the mid-range. He's keeping it going. The split action, didn't like what he had initially off of there, took his time, somehow found an opening to fade away. There's no true holiday for Milwaukee. He is out with an illness. So can the Warriors take advantage? This team, you've already seen it, and the Warriors have taken advantage of it. It, it was even Giannis one time was in drop coverage coming off one of those screens. See if you can eat up that real estate, get to your pull-up jumper, the three ball, whatever you feel. This is a shade under 63% free throwing. So he makes the first two, and when Milwaukee struggles, he's having those, you know, four for 15 free throwing nights. It's big for him. He's been staying after every single game almost, just shooting free throws. So it's not the lack of effort. It's Steph gets foul action. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Shot clock at three. Play 4-3. Off back iron. Lou to the offensive rebound. Raymond said no. Cool for his three, but Rick Lopez doesn't want to go out to the three-point line, and Looney's extra effort gets the Warriors another opportunity. Clay Thompson down the lane, and then laid on the iron. And Looney almost got another one. Giannis to Brooke Lopez. Lopez leads the league in block shots. Tough sledding inside. Grayson Allen right to the iron. He got a pretty good screen there. Jordan Poole was trying to chase over the top. Didn't really get much help. Poole coming back 100 miles an hour, but couldn't quite float it home. Here's Giannis on the open floor, and that's unfortunate. The DNA test, 99.9% .9 Nigerian. Okay. Like me. I love it. He's, he's kind of like me. I was born in London. I'm Nigerian. He's born in Athens, Greece. He's Nigerian. Uh, they were all just admiring him as he just kills in the NBA. And Greece is definitely one of my top places as far as bucket list visits. Back to Draymond, nice interchange, and around Lopez to finish. That's not easy. Jordan Poole is a playmaker. He's showing it. Draymond came to double, and Lieutenant Kupo right to the iron. He saw where the help was coming from and found the way to spin back the other way. Draymond and Looney couldn't handle it. Poole got a little out of control, but he saved the day back to Clay. 
play. Thompson, he beats the shot blocker to the rim, too. That's so smart. He rejected the ball screen, and Brooke Lopez couldn't recover because he was setting up to guard him on the other side. That's one thing Andrew Wiggins does well, who the Warriors are going to miss tonight. Giannis for three. With his percentage, you would give him those all game long. Yeah, he might hit a couple as the Warriors turn to tricky sometimes if he's going to attack. Play was. Middleton is such a good mid-range shooter. You play him for the jumper, and he has the drive. Their, their offense is going to continue to improve as long as he's in the fray. He's going to get the points back up, just getting his rhythm back. So Middleton. Well, you think about Brooke Lopez, 15 years. Giannis, 10 years. And then a guy like Middleton, over a decade as well. In year 11, and the Bucks inside are a problem. They, they got tricky there. Grayson Allen, Allen just switching the angles of that screen, and Giannis is using it. Jordan Fulgis, he retired. The, the number five, he wears five? Because they said he could guard all five, all five positions yeah. and play all five positions. Basically, his best friend told him, yeah, you got to stick with that number. He almost tried to switch out of it in high school. Hampton driving again, setting up Portis. And he bottoms a deep two from the corner. Like a lot of teams, they shoot much better when they get inside and they can kick it back out, make the defense react. Uh, 12 of 43 against Houston, just an off first action. Menga has been on a roll as of late. Portis has pull on a mismatch. Shot clock at two, walks him underneath. And he might want to come up a little earlier than that. So an 11-2 run here. Warriors have started 7-0, and play ending that run, and you just got to stay in contact. You're, you're the underdog here. Milwaukee is the second-best team in the NBA. You see this? And on the road, just hang in there. See the Splash Brothers working together. Steph set that beautiful screen, made it go around this low pass. It's a fadeaway jumper. That was kind of sweet. And that was like a one-footed Nowitzki from the baseline. Got that in his game. Michael Green left open. His three balls not been there this year. And so the Bucs, they do the scouting report. They're going to dare him to shoot those like the Warriors were leaving Giannis. George Hill setting up Portis. Fade away for everybody. George Hill steps into a three. Now, the Bucks make their first three there, but they're only one of five. Which starts to scare you because after that Warriors seven nothing run, it's Clay who's the only one who has anything going. They're getting a little free happy. The Warriors are. You want to switch it up and go inside if you can. But the Bucks shoot so much better at home. They've been showing it. Leslie Matthews kind of directing traffic. Lopez facing up to Michael Green with the shot clock at four. And Lopez, I'll tell you, last year he had the back injury. Their defense suffered. He's healthy now. They're amazing defense. Menga, quickness all the way from the three-point line. That's so good because Lopez was gapping him. He's saying, I still have the quickness to get by. You'll get a running start, just explode to the rim. That's how you have to tag Lopez at the rim. He's so good with his rim protection. But the recognition. You get a great drive from Clay Thompson. Now Lopez was helping. He's got to recover back to this guy. Super athletic, super explosive. He's just so tough for him to keep up with that. Even if super aggressive right now, and he's trying to move his feet. They got some pretty good movement before that drive, which made it tough on Moody. But and Pat Compton, that's one of the things that the Bucks tried to address was their wing depth. And you lose a Middleton, and obviously that affected them so much last season. So the Niners are absolutely rolling. Brock Purdy's becoming a folk hero. And Thursday night, Niners Seahawks with a chance to clinch the division. Rod Brooks and Dante Whitner, Carlos Ramirez with you on pre and post game live right here on NBC Sports Bay Area. Purdy, Purdy. Yeah. I, hey, he I was, was at Levi's and you had, you know, nearly 80,000 people chanting Purdy, Purdy. I'm thinking, I didn't hear any Jimmy chants or Steve Young or Joe Montana chants. What's going on here? He was unfazed, always under pressure. Niners were defensively amazing. Steph Curry's on the board. 
He drops in his first three. They're getting Ruth Lopez involved in all the action. He's so far away from that ball screen. Steph has so much space coming off there. If this were a prize fight, the Warriors landed a couple early jabs. The Milwaukee staggered them. And they're just trying to survive right now as Middleton hits the mid-range. I mean, you're, you're getting a look at why the Celtics and the Bucs are the two best teams in the league. And the Warriors have seen both of them in their last two games. Hang of the escape valve, those two men jumped in step. Pocket five and Manga three. Stay in contact. Just stay in the game early while the Bucs are shooting it at 67%. You just love how Kaminga's offense just comes naturally. He's not even thinking about it right now. It's all about defense for him. It's a 20-year-old kid that is growing up in front of our eyes. Rick Lopez for deep. Splash Mountain has been amazing. 40% from back there. He's hit every one of his shots. He's got seven. Giannis has seven. Portis has six. Curry three. And Steph in response. Again, he's going at Brooke Lopez. And Pickle, they set that one up super high. Steph is livid, though. Thought he got fouled. Middleton misses everything. The ricochet to Portis, and that's just bad luck. Something's happened to make him get that way. So a couple technicals, one on Steve, one on Steph. Steph gets angry. It's usually problems in the defense. And laid on iron, and yeah, DiVincenzo get the rebound and can't quite freeze it out, but had the Bucs explode with 38 in the quarter. Just trying to hang in there. DiVincenzo to Kaminga. The pump fake. Cool, the open shooter. Great ball movement, tipped up and out. And Kaminga after the buzzer. But if you're the Warriors,